There were three people and they were on a journey and they took provisions for their journey. But what happened is they didn't have a GPS like we have today. Sat nav, tom tom, right? Google Maps. So they were in the forest traversing and they became lost. They became lost. So because they became lost, this took a couple more days from their planned journey. And as a result, the provisions that they had with them became depleted, except a bowl of milk, a bowl of milk. So now they were in a dilemma. We three people, one bowl of milk. How on earth are we going to distribute this milk between us? So one of them was very clever. He said, you know what? I have an, an idea. They said, what? He says, what we'll do is, we'll place the bowl of milk on a high tree so no wild animal can drink it. And we'll all go to sleep. And when we wake up in the morning, we'll tell each other about the dream which we had. And the person who has the best dream gets the bowl of milk. How's that? They said, perfect. That sounds doable. It's conducive, right? So this is what they did. And they went to sleep. And they woke up the next day and they said, right guys, let's discuss the all-important issue of the dreams that we had so that we can have breakfast. So they asked the first person, what did you dream about? Now obviously he didn't dream about anything, but he has a mind that can imagine. So he said, for the sake of the bowl of milk, he said, you know what? I had an amazing dream. An amazing dream. They said, what was this dream about? He says, I dreamt I was on the third heaven. Third heaven, wow. And he started describing the third heaven and how he met Prophet Joseph, Yusuf alayhi salam, and how handsome he was and everything he could conjure up. Everything he could describe, he described. He used his abilities to imagine for the sake of his stomach. <laughs> he needed the bowl of milk. So the other two, they were starting to look despondent. They said, subhanallah, this, was, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. So they went to traveler number two. What did you dream about? He says, traveler number one, you had an amazing dream. But sorry to say, my dream was better. Now, obviously, he didn't dream anything as well. So they said, what was your dream about? He says, which heaven were you on? He said, the third heaven. He goes, me, I was on the fifth heaven. I was on the fifth heaven. And we know that the fifth heaven is more beautiful than the third heaven. So what did he do? He bettered the description of the third heaven. And traveler number one looked down, despondent, as he saw the bowl of milk evaporating. So then they turned to traveler number three. And traveler number three said, yes, what can I do for you? They said, we're waiting to hear the dream. We want to hear what you dreamt last night. He said, I'm too ashamed to tell you about my dream. They said, what do you mean you're too ashamed to tell us about your dream? You have to tell us it was an agreement. Let's hear it and let's finish this because the sun is rising and this bowl of milk is going to evaporate. Tell us what you dreamt about. He goes, I'm too ashamed. Please, just leave me out of it. He said, no, we had an agreement. Let's hear it. He goes, okay. Because you're forcing me, last night I was in a deep, deep, deep sleep really enjoying the sleep, when suddenly somebody woke me up. So they said, who woke you up? We were sleeping. We were the only ones here. He says, no, no, there was somebody. There was this knight on a black horse, and this horse was very well groomed. It was groomed as you see the king's horses groomed. He's describing, he's imagining. Can you see how this mind can describe? Right? The, the purpose of the story is to understand how we can imagine and describe. He says, this person came and he had a staff, a sharp staff, and he poked me. And that's what woke me up. So they said, what happened? He says, I jumped up. And I said, yes, how can I help you, sir? He said, that's a very good question. You can help me. Climb up the tree and get the bowl of milk down. 
So they said, what did you do? He says, I told him, no, I can't. I have an agreement here with these two gentlemen here. We have an agreement. I can't. He said, climb up, get the bowl of milk down, or the staff will touch you. <laughs> and you know what that means, right? We're trying to be diplomatic with our words. So he said, look, uh, look, I don't want any, any harm to occur here. But I just want you to understand what I'm doing is not allowed. He says, look, I'm not interested in what is allowed and what is not allowed. Climb the tree, get the bowl of milk down. So he says, I climbed the tree and I brought the bowl of milk down. So the two people said, what do you mean you brought the bowl of milk down? He goes, I brought it down. They said, what did you do with it? He says, I went and gave it to him. They said, you gave it to him? He says, no, 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 listen what happened. Listen to what happened. As I walked to him, I thought, let me walk slowly. He might go away, but he didn't. And as I gave him the bowl of milk, he picked up his staff and he pointed it at me and he says, no, you drink the bowl of milk. <laughs> so I, he, they said, what did you do? He says, I told him, no, I can't. You know, you will be gone tomorrow. I have to face my two companions. We have an agreement. He said, drink the bowl of milk or the staff will touch you. So he goes, what could I do? I started drinking it. But... I was drinking it very slowly so that maybe he might go and there'll be some left for you all. So they said, what happened? He said that this person said, drink it till the last drop or this stuff will touch you. So I'm sorry, I drank the bowl of milk. So the other two looked down and said, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Why didn't you scream? We could have woken up and helped you. So he said, I screamed and screamed, but you were on the third heaven and you were on the fifth heaven, you couldn't hear me. <laughs> right? So, do you understand how this mind can imagine? But even though it can imagine and describe, you can't imagine Jannah and you can't describe Jannah. So that is Jannah and that is Jahannam and this is the dunya that we live in.